Hey, hi everyone. My name is Mike and as you know, we are like to change things up and try new things. So we are starting a new series. And this is all about Guiding 101. And today's episode, the first episode, is going to be all about how to drive a vehicle in the safest and most comfortable way. Uh, the vehicle that we're going to be driving is the typical eco-training vehicle, old Land Rovers that, are, that have stood the test of time and they are really the iconic vehicles used in the safari industry uh, and there are ways you can drive them to make them a lot more comfortable there are also ways you can drive them to make it just awful so i'm going to show you some of those principles and hopefully that'll help you next time you are driving maybe your own land rover back home all right so we are driving along our merry way having a grand old time with our guests and up ahead we spot what looks like a rather uncomfortable obstacle. And what we're going to do is change into low range where we were in high range. This will help it to be a little bit more comfortable. So I'll show you how to do that in case you weren't aware that there was even a thing called high range and low range. Okay, to change the gear, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a gentle clutch pressure, use my left hand to pull it to the right, <coughs> and then push it up. These old vehicles take a bit of work, so don't be shy with it, it won't break off. Just firmly push it into that low range position. The other thing to remember when you are driving over very bumpy obstacles is to never put your thumbs inside the, the, the steering wheel like that. If you hit a rock and the steering wheel quickly, violently moves over left or right, if your thumb is in the way, you could end up smashing your thumb and really hurting yourself. So always keep your thumbs just on the top of the steering wheel like that when you're driving. Okay, so we've talked about changing to the right gear. We've talked about your hands being in the right place in the steering wheel, especially your thumbs. Now the other thing to remember is to, when you're going downhill on these really bumpy or very steep slopes, don't touch the clutch. Choose the right gear before you get to the obstacle so that the car does the work. The engine will slow you down, you'll go down nice and smooth, and you'll climb up nice and smooth. If you touch that clutch, the wheels become free and it will start rolling down the hill quite fast. You can take everything off and the car drives itself. No feature on anything, no accelerator, nothing. But as soon as I hit that clutch, see, I didn't like that at all. That wasn't so nice. So, at the top of that slope, the clutch was off. I wasn't touching anything. It was nice and smooth going down. Then I pressed the clutch down just to see what it felt like. And the car immediately started going much quicker and bouncing over the rocks. And I actually let go of the clutch before we even hit the bottom because I felt very uncomfortable, even though I was in control of the car. So that was the end of episode one of Guiding Skills 101. It was all about driving the vehicle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked that video, and you want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.